You have to challenge your teams is what are you doing today that's going to make me as a tourist talk about you tomorrow? What are you really doing to make me want to talk about you? And to make me actually do it? And not just you, but more importantly, your stakeholders, your hotels, your restaurants, your attractions, because they're the ones that are really going to power this day after. Your role is going to be, by and large, to train them how to think like this, to train them how to think about what can I do, what little touch can I put into my experience so that a visitor in this market will tell the world they're here and say something really nice about the experience. Because it happens. I had the great fortune last month of going to the Turks and Caicos Islands. Anyone been there? I had to go speak at the first ever social media business symposium. It was a really tough gig. <laughs> had to take my wife and everything, man. It was really rough. And so, of course, for the four days that I was there, everybody who follows me on Facebook or Twitter or whatever was subjugated to photos like this. And if you were unfortunate enough to follow all of the six speakers that, that presented, which there were actually a lot of people that do because I invited my friends to come with me, you basically got five days of this. Because that's what, I mean, that's what you do on Facebook, right? You don't share your life. You share just the good parts of your life to make your friends jealous. <laughs> right? No one ever shares the junk. And I was more than happy to, you know, in the middle of July, I tell everybody, ha, look where I'm at. And I kept getting the same thing. I kept getting, dude, that water is so beautiful. Did you use a filter? Oh, my God, the water. Oh, my God, the water. And if anybody here's ever been to Turks and Caicos, the water does actually look like that. And it's, it's a selling point. But the organization that had us down there didn't just rely on this. They knew that if I took pictures and shared them with the water, people would comment. Because everybody does. It's drop-dead gorgeous water and sand. But they didn't leave anything. They thought about day after. They said, hey, we're going to have six social media experts in our location. Together there are hundreds of thousands of followers between the six. They're going to share stuff. It's what they do. We got to make sure that we give them really cool stuff to share. Stuff that will entice other people to want to come to Turks. And so they did stuff like this. Took us on a 73 foot boat. Took us snorkeling and everything else. And then they beached it for us on a, a, a really an uninhabited island and said just hang out, drink, have a good time, float around, we're going to have lunch. And we thought, man, this is really cool. We're going to float around for a little bit. You know, deckhand, you would yell up to Junior and he would toss you another beer. This is a really tough day. And we thought, oh, you know, we'll probably eat on the boat or on the beach or whatever. No. They just brought food out to us on a silver platter. That's actually the conference organizer serving my wife. They invested in day after marketing. They invested in things that would make us want to talk about what we were doing. And by God, did we talk. We felt like rock stars. We, all, we couldn't believe it. We were like, here we go. I've had 47,000 tweets, and this is the payoff. My wife is being served food in the middle of this gorgeous water, and everybody's happy because whatever. And we shared because, I mean, God, don't think this made people jealous? How was your subway, chief? How's the cube look today? This is where I ate lunch. They pre-planned the content to make sure that we would have things that people would go nuts. I, my wife's birthday was actually the day of the conference. So I told her, I have bad news and good news. I have to work on your birthday, but I, good news is I don't think you're really going to care. I'll see you around 5. And then I asked the conference organizer, I said, can you recommend a good place for dinner? I'd, I'd like to just take her off, just the two of us, and have something nice. So he did, and I, he, he gave me the email of the owners, and I, and I set it up. And we, we arrived, and this is what I mean by training your stakeholders. When we arrived, the owner was there, and he said, I believe we have a birthday. I said, yes, my wife's birthday today. Um, he said, all right, well, you know, you have a table booked on the, on the balcony, which is really beautiful, or if you'd like, you can eat down on the beach. Luckily for him, we... we we said beach because he, once we got there, had obviously planned for us to say beach. We walked down. There was a single table on the beach surrounded by three tiki torches, all set up, ready to go. And so my wife, for her birthday, got to have this, you know, 40 feet from the water, you know, the whole bit. But he didn't stop there. When he came down for the end, he said, okay, I guess it's time to sing happy birthday. And he's kind of giggling like a little kid, and he's carrying some boxes, and he goes over here, and he sits down, and he, all of a sudden he just runs back. And he's like, all right, fireworks start going off. He did a fireworks show for my wife. 
Guess who got husband of the year, by the way? <laughs> my wife was crying. She was so just like, oh my God, this is the most awesome birthday ever. It was 15 bucks worth of fireworks. But you can damn sure bet you I videotaped it and it got shared. And everybody else's wife said to their husband, well, look what Tom did. And then my wife reminded them of Tom's travel schedule, and she said, that's why Tom did it. The point is, it's not hard. It's simple, but it takes thinking. It takes time. And if you will train your stakeholders, if you will empower them to understand how, they know, they'll do it. They want to do it. They just don't know how. They just don't understand, hey, it's as simple as buying some used fireworks and making someone's night special. 